Me Miner here. This is a quick tutorial on how to navigate and acquire a claim using the British Columbia Mineral Titles Online or MTO. Prior to signing in, you do need a BC EID. If you need help getting one, I would suggest contacting Service BC. There is some stuff you can do remotely, and there is one step, uh, an ID check, you have to do in their office. I'm now signing in with my ID and password. I will go for a placer claim and acquisition. This takes me to a little questionnaire which you're supposed to read and understand. If you click on I do not understand, it takes you back to the previous page. So let's do it one more time. Placer claim, acquisition, and here we go. And there's my map of BC. Now I'll open a second screen just to find out what forfeited on the prior day. Today is the 2nd of October, so the prior day was the 1st of October. I'm interested in Placer that terminated. Here's the list. I'll click on the first claim that expired. That's 562649. This one has a long history from the previous owner. It was claimed originally in 2007. Let's view the tenure, see it on a map. The grid with the red lines is the newer way of acquiring a claim. You get the whole grid, less any part that overlaps an older claim. There are still older claims that are outside of the grid. They can be up to 500 meters by 1,000 meters. I will call those legacy claims. The parts highlighted in yellow is the claim that just forfeited. Typically when a claim forfeits, the claim expires at midnight BC time and it's available for claiming at 10 o'clock Vancouver time the next day. However, if there's any open area within the cell, that makes it available for staking at any time. So we may as well do it right now. Let's go back to my signed in page and we'll use the buttons on the top left to zoom in to find the same spot. And there's a button on the top right that I can use to change different map layers and get a slightly different view. On the upper right, click on the green plus to enable me to highlight the cells or cell that I want to acquire. Now I'll click on the cell I want and start the acquisition process. If it's still available, it'll allow me to purchase it. Clicking next tells you if there's any issues with your submission. No issues, you have half an hour to pay for the claim. This is your only chance to put a name on the claim. You don't have to, in which case the name will be blank. Thank you for watching. I didn't actually pay for this claim, so it went back into the inventory, but at least you can see the process.